As some of you remember, a while back, I reviewed a laser cube from Wicked Lasers. When developing new hardware with such destructive potential, it is vital to be conscientious. I'm delighted by the build quality and the play and party modes of the laser guild, but horrified by how little thought went into making it safe. I would love to see Wicked Lasers go back to the drawing board, make something of this quality, but single mode. Yeah, I was pretty hard on it. It was one of those brutal reviews where you are pretty sure that company is never ever going to send you another review product. And probably any other company who saw the review would not either. But surprise, surprise, Wicked Lasers took my criticism to heart and recently offered me their new laser cube 7.5 watt ultra to review, which just going in, I have to say a lot about them as a company. Most companies would not take that chance. It's just too easy to find channels these days willing to give a good review to almost anything because frankly, bad reviews make getting review units really hard. These days, I have a pretty tough time because I've spoken my mind a bit too bluntly about a bit too many companies' products. Most companies just have no reason to risk that, so understandably send their products to reviewers who never say anything really bad about anything. So before we get into it, big ups to Wicked Lasers for being able to take criticism and understand it comes from a place of wanting to make a better product, not wanting to hurt any company. Okay, let's take it out of the case. So the key goes in here, the interlock goes here. And then the Wi-Fi antenna goes here. I'm going to connect the power cable later and this is the power switch. Now the 7.5 watt Ultra here is the largest and most powerful version the laser cube at the moment, but it's still manageable at 3.3 kilograms and 155 by 150 by 155 millimeters. You can put it in a backpack or duffel bag, and that's important because of what I think is an ideal use case. In my opinion, dance parties and clubs aside, this is a perfect tool for protesters. Okay, okay, hear me out. I think we all agree that if something bad is going on in our neighborhood, people should be able to show up, wave signs, make some noise, and be heard. We even have some of that in China recently, which is crazy, right? But a lot of Chinese did go out and the folks in charge did listen. I never thought I'd see the day. But something like this would have been perfect. Like, hey, PCR testing everyone every single day is bullshit. Project it on the side of a building. In most countries, protesting things is a pretty normal thing to do. In fact, it's often part of being a good citizen. And it stands to reason that technology and the tools that people use to be heard should keep up. I think this is a safe, portable and effective way to get your message out so it can be seen by a lot of people. So yes, I'm sure it will be loads of fun at parties, festivals, nightclubs, and feel free to use it for that. But I'm kind of looking at it as a moderately disruptive tool for responsible public dissent. It's not vandalism. It doesn't keep anyone from getting home or damage any property, but it does get noticed. All that said, basically what we have here is a box with some powerful laser dials and some very fast mirrors. That's the easy part. The hard part is user-friendly software that lets us easily control the projected image. And that's where there's been a ton of progress since the last version. 
Even better is now it has a built-in battery, so you can really run and gun. Set it up, project your message, and then move on quickly without worrying about cables or adapters. Let me set it up on my little mesaline and show you how it works. So this is the Wiki Lasers uh, website. Let's click Laser Cube. Okay, when you go in here, it shows uh, different videos. Uh, shop by different vloggers. You can check it out. They're pretty cool If you have never used their product you can go to the tutorials scroll down and there are instructions here They also send you the instructions by paper, but it's pretty detailed in their on their website Okay, here's our reviews cool ideas and for their software I downloaded it from their Reddit community. I downloaded the uh, Laser OS uh, 0.134 version. I think that's the latest version. This is the older version. Um, they support Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. That's why I also uh, I also downloaded it from uh, I also downloaded it for my phone so that when I go out, I don't need to bring my laptop. I just use my phone to control it. Okay, let's go to their app interface. This is their app interface. Let's connect to it. Let's connect to uh, the Wi-Fi. If you're not sure, also on their instruction, they will teach you how to connect to the Wi-Fi. There is a button over here. You press it once, you can see it shows the IP address and uh, when you select Wi-Fi server, you can connect it for Wi-Fi. So let's go to Wi-Fi and find a laser cube and then connect to it. Let's turn the laser on. Right now you're seeing the image from abstracts. There are tons of effects from here. This is the color effect, uh, just like before, because this, this is the second time I will view it. So before I have uh, used their interface, but they have as a new Functions for this, such as uh, hop and uh, beam creator, light painting, and you can even import the SVG uh, uh, pictures there. Okay, let's start from abstracts. You can see there are tons of effects here. It's pretty cool. You can change the geometry, rotate it, rotate it. And then if you go to visualizer, they're all pretty cool effects. <laughs> Dance fraud because uh, right now it's uh, nighttime, it's pretty dark, you can see it very clearly, but if you think it's not like powerful enough, you can change the power to 100%, but it, it's just too bright. Just I can just turn it down, turn it down. Okay, so on this side, this is the pattern you choose, and on the other side, this is the effect you choose. So when I select disk and I want to change the pattern, I just select the pattern from here. And it's the same on phone. And if you are going to, and if you have a party at home, you can always show. So this is a girl dancing on a pole. And switch to other effect. And if you think it's not big enough, you can zoom, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So the image gets larger. Compared to the old versions, they did add a lot of um, effects. Before, they don't have so many. Pretty cool. This one is too big, so we'll scale it down you can, so that you can see the image better. So if there is a girl doing the club dancing on my wall. So for the animation, 
There are a whole lot more. Okay, so let me go back. Fireworks. Uh, so right now it's the Chinese New Year's, but in cities you cannot uh, set off uh, fireworks. But uh, if you have the laser cube, you can bring it out and shine it to the building. It's the same. You see, this one is so cool. Okay. Zoom in. Wow, check this out. They have different patterns, it's pretty cool. And in Shenzhen, whenever we have a festival or whenever we have a holidays, it is, it's, it's kind of like a Shenzhen tradition to fly the drone on the sky and show you all the different patterns and show you like, oh, happy holidays. But uh, it takes a lot of drones and it's very expensive. But for this, I only use one laser cube and I can zoom in and zoom, zoom out. And this is other effects. This is the triangle and the circle. This is pretty cool, man. I want, I want this in my room. Of course, not 24 hours, but uh, at night, I would like to have it. Like set the timer uh, from this time to that time. That would be pretty cool. So this is actually a clock. It shows 4.20, but it's not the time that uh, now. And this is the clock. Okay, magic. So the new things here is it has a crypto logo. I guess when you go to a crypto conference, you can bring this with you. It's pretty cool. This is the Bitcoin, Ethereum. Let's change the effect. Um, let me see, random effect. See, this one is pretty cool. Okay. And this one is my favorite because it can go all the way up to the side. Oh, you can also move the effects order. Ah, I did not know that. And then XRP. Let's take a look. This is Monero. So it's pretty cool, like right? if you go to a crypto conference, right? There's so many effects for you to choose. Okay, this you can use the text function. Happy New Year. Okay, I can change the fonts. There are different fonts over here. Okay, so let's make it a little bit bigger. So you can type in any language here. Um, I think last time when I tried to use my phone to type in uh, other language, it also worked. Even when I tried to type in Chinese, let's see. Okay, this says Happy New Year in Chinese. I can draw here. I'm just write, writing random Chinese characters. It says, I love you. So the laser cue is the same version uh, on my laptop. And you scroll down, go to draw. So if you want to change the effect, you tap the uh, arrow here to change it unlike our interface on the laptop is side by side one is the picture uh, or pattern and then on the other side is effect this one is also uh, is on the top if you want to change the effect see and then there is really cool cool thing here I turn off the light uh, you can't see but if I pointed my camera on my keyboard 
you see it's showing the little square on for my keyboard and if I change the, it to my front camera it's gonna show my face but now it's too dark you you can't see that okay so this is the laser man And then I die. My favorite among all this is the locking. You see it? Let me show you. Okay, you hit it once. The lock doesn't open. This is level one. Okay, the lock unlocks. If it hits the circle, it's unlock because if if the line passes it, it doesn't work. So. I really like it because you need to focus at it. So they ha even have the Chinese New Year uh, pattern. This is the Chinese lantern. See? I saw my neighbors uh, bought those Chinese lanterns just like this. And they hang it outside on their patio. But mine is cooler. <laughs> mine is just a fake uh, project, uh, projection, right? Kinds. This year is the year of rabbit. This one does not look like rabbit. This one looks like a. Oh, okay. It's here. It's kind of weird. Looks like a pig. I thought that's a pig. You see? You see the difference? I don't see the difference. This one looks like pig too. <laughs> it's very cool. Enough of that. Um. Okay, pros and cons. Cons. The 7-point Watt Ultra is $3,222. That's a ton of money if it gets confiscated. So put it on a buy or someplace you can make a quick getaway. Billboards usually cost a lot more than that, so depending on how clever you are, it could be a cost-effective way to have a guerrilla advertising campaign. If you have a non-profit and travel to different events, it might also make sense. Otherwise, there is the 1.2 Watt version for just over $1,000. If you used a few of those, but never at the same time, you could keep them guessing. Next, it is a laser. That means it has got to be used carefully and conscientiously. Never set up in a cloud at head height where someone could turn around and look into the beam. I made a mistake and pointed at some windows. Don't do that. Only the sides of buildings with no windows. It should also never be shined into the sky where it could intersect with an aircraft flight path. If you endanger people with this, you will go to jail in almost any country and deservedly so. So the cons are it's expensive and you need to understand how to use it carefully and responsibly. Pros, it lets you reach a lot of people and looks really cool in a lot of artistic applications for comparably little money. Laser projection is still a novelty. People will video it and post it on their social media. While over $3,000 isn't cheap, it's very cheap compared to what this sort of laser tag used to cost. It's cheap in terms of what it normally costs to implement at a club or festival. It's a very good value. Next, it's easy to use. You can use your computer in the fixed indoor setting, but if you are on the go, you can use your phone. The app is very user-friendly. It's got a built-in battery that lasts a few hours, more than enough time to get your message across. Last, even this big one is very portable, but can fit right in a backpack and won't draw a lot of attention. Final verdict. If you do a lot of outdoor events, obviously this is a lot of fun. If you are an activist of some sort, want an asymmetrical tool that gets your message out, this is as cutting edge as it gets. Obey your local laws, or at least be willing to accept the consequence if you don't. 
use this safely and along with all the artistic and fun stuff you can do. I think it's a great tool for any citizen looking to make a difference and be heard. That's it for today. More build videos coming soon. And until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.